Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, uh, performing another Super Mario Odyssey experiment. As you can see, we're in New Donk City again. Uh, there's some stuff I want to check out here, so we're going to head over and do that. Uh, first thing, we're going to have to get into the main city again. That's not too tricky. Just got to do a good cappy roll jump from just here. Oops. <laughs> uh, power lines are non-optional in the game, even though you can skip these ones. Some of the others cannot be skipped, which is a bit annoying. Oh, seriously? Oh my goodness. Okay, we'll give that another shot. Uh, it doesn't matter too much, it's just 10 coins. Yeah, I messed up pretty bad. But yeah, it's pretty easy to just do a capy all jump from the right spot, which is uh, up here, where this little, where these two parts overlap. Aim yourself carefully, standing about here. I actually made it that time, but I hit the fence, which bonked me back and made me fall. Oh my god. I pulled this off first time in the initial experiment. It's weird that it's not, I'm having so much trouble now. Hmm. There we go. Okay, so what I actually want to check out over here is, if you come over this way, we can get to one of the sub-areas. Uh, which is the one with the big T-Rex in it. Uh, it's here somewhere. Yeah, it's this way. <laughs> so what you're supposed to do in this sub-area is get on that bicycle there and use it to outrun the T-Rex. I'm going to try just doing it on foot to see if it's possible. Uh, I don't know if I'll be fast enough to outrun the T-Rex and get the moons, but I want to see what happens, so let's give it a look. I have a lot less uh, steering while I'm rolling like this compared to the way you normally do on the scooter. I can steer a little bit, but it's much, much slower. I think I already got the moons in here, actually, in the previous video. Yeah, um, the T-Rex is actually destroying the road as you go, so it crumbles behind you and you end up without any road. But yeah, I think this looks possible. Let's go. Ow. If you take a hit, you have a problem because it stuns you and you stop rolling, so you have to keep moving very fast. I think using long jumps might help. It does slow you down a bit, but it gives you a lot more control. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Maybe not maybe not the long jumps in that case. I don't know, the first time I did a lot better, so I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong now. Ah. <laughs> okay, this this should work. It looks like it's possible to do without the, without actually driving the scooter. I can get enough speed from rolling. I don't know if I can get both moons, but I should be able to get the second one at least. Oops. I'm pretty much constantly shaking the right Joy-Con here to keep myself boosted. Uh, because you got to maintain your speed, otherwise you're going to have problems. Ah! Yeah, if the if the T-Rex gets past you, you uh, are doomed, so you got to watch out for that. I wonder if there's a way to stun the T-Rex. I feel like there's nothing you can use to do it, because there aren't any, like, walls you can make it run into. But may maybe there's a way.
Oh, there's a wall up there, that's sad. So yeah, I'm, I'm tilting the analog left and right, rather than um, forward, because shaking is enough to go forward. Ah, I think I bonked off the T-Rex. Uh, and just steering back and forth, basically, so when the T-Rex charges forward to bite you, you get enough distance to avoid being bit, basically. It is tricky to steer quickly enough, but it's doable. There's quite a delay between me pushing the stick in a direction and Mario actually moving that way. Whoops! I accidentally roll cancelled and rolled the other way. <laughs> Not a good idea. <laughs> yeah, when you get bitten on the scooter, it doesn't stun you in the same way, so it's still easy to keep running, whereas when you get bit on your feet, Mario gets like... It's kind of like he bonked, basically. Uh, you know, like this. Takes a little bit to get up, and he can't move during that part, so you lose a lot of speed. And yeah, once it's past you, you're pretty much doomed, so... Basically, you have to do it without getting hit, I think is the basic challenge here. Oops. Also, you can roll into the scooter, which is kind of weird. I didn't know that worked. What a boop boop. Ah. Yeah, you have to move a lot earlier than it looks like to get out of the way of the of the T-Rex before it tries to bite. Because when you're rolling like this, you turn very slowly. I think it should be possible though. I don't know if we can get both moons. Oh, uh, we should really look at the one at the end, I think, though. Maybe. We'll see how we go. Ah, oh, I got stuck on that wall. What a boop boop boop. Okay, that's not good. Um, don't bonk on the boxes. <laughs> ah. Yeah, basically if you get hit at all, uh, you are doomed, and you have to steer quite early to actually get Mario while rolling like this to go where you want him to. Like, 
when, when I when, as soon as I get to the side of the of the corridor, I'm pushing the stick in the other direction. So that gives you an idea of how long it actually takes for steering to kick in. When you're doing this rather than using the scooter, which is obviously much, much faster. Ah! No! Same as last time. Sure, it's possible. It's just, it's just annoyingly hard. <sighs> I wonder if just using regular rolling would be fast enough. Maybe? It might be easier to control if I don't use the shake boost. I'm not sure. That's not working very well. Mm. I think it works a lot better with the shake. Shake rolling is much, much faster than Y button rolling for some reason. I don't know why. Just because Nintendo want you to use motion control for some reason. No! The other problem is that when it hits you, you actually turn to face it. So if you start rolling from there, you will be rolling in the wrong direction. So that's something to watch out for. Uh, but, you know, when you get hit, you're already pretty much doomed anyway, so... Ah! Oh, same one again. <sighs> you can see this is significantly harder than the regular version you're doing this area, where you just get on the scooter and go. Ah! No. Boop 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 boop. I think this T-Rex is automatically about the same speed you are, so if you were going a bit slower, it would also go slower. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's always the case or only when you're like rolling, because it didn't seem to be catching up very effectively when I was rolling slower, so I don't know, maybe? <gasps> yes! <laughs> oh my gosh, it's possible! Oh my goodness. I took a hit, but I did it. Oh, wow. That was fun. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, so, yeah, that's what I wanted to do in this video. Pull that off without using the scooter. Um, uh, it's going to be kind of a short video if I just do that, though. So maybe I'll have a quick look around and see what else needs to be done. I'll grab this. There we go. Uh, maybe I'll try to find the musicians without... Uh, Let's see. 
I'm pretty sure I can get to all four musicians without using any power lines. Uh, so that shouldn't be a problem. Most of them are actually on the ground, so it's like super easy. Oh wait, hang on, one's in the park. I didn't think of that. Oh wow. There is one in the park, right? Yeah. Okay, I don't think I can reach that musician. Because you can see how far away they are. Uh, maybe if I gain some more height. Let's have a look. Mm, that's not going to be enough. But I can get some more by climbing up here. Maybe that'll be enough? It looks very far, though. I can't get to the top of, um, Lunong City Hall, because that requires me to use another power line. Maybe if I stand just here on this yellow part and try to catch a gold jump. Oops. No! Okay, that doesn't count. Um... <laughs> I obviously didn't use that power line to help me in any way. And it doesn't really matter if I capture a power line. Uh, because I have to use some other power lines in the game anyway, so... Just capturing one doesn't, like, kill the run or anything. Okay, so I want to stand about here, I reckon. That yeah, looks about right. The sick app is automatically homing towards the the power if I get too close, which I've got to be careful about. There we go. That's a good spot. Yeah, that's not going to work. That's way too far. Okay, so I can't get all four uh, performance because I can't reach that park. Uh, unless maybe... No, 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 that won't work. I was thinking maybe I could use the, the letters, get them out of bounds and try to glitch one into flying all the way over there. Uh, since you can put it inside a taxi and get it to glitch out that way. But the letters don't actually show up until after you've done the story. As you can see, there's no letters here. So that won't work for us. Uh, we can get to the other three musicians fine, I believe. But that park is just way too far away for a Cappy Roll Jump. And I don't think we'll be able to reach it. I believe you can do a jump from the very top of New Dong City Hall to do it, but we can't reach the right top of New Dong City Hall either, because that also requires us to use a power line. Um. Uh, so these moons have grown since we were here last. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, the other moon we should be able to reach without too much trouble. Not moon. The other, well, the other moon. The other bef musician who has a moon that they will give us when we talk to them. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Uh, it's over here. So we just make our way over this way. Use these and then we can climb up there. There we go. They're on that rooftop. You can see that there's a performer up there. Uh, we, so we're supposed to use this power line to get over there, but we shouldn't need to. We should be fine built from here. It's pretty easy to climb up here using these thingies. There we go. Easy. Uh, I'll grab these purple coins first, though. 
Also, the hint is around here, I believe, so I might look at that too. If it's thrown up yet, it has. But do That's back in the Lake Kingdom. We can't reach it without touching the water because that's actually inside the plaza. So we can't get to that in our current run. Hello, friend. So, yeah, the last... You can see we get those three performers, no problem. And if we could get to the last performer, we could do the rest of the challenges that are involved without using any power lines. But to reach the park, I don't think we can do that without using this power line. Because even if we get as high up as we can, which involves going up here, and here, and here, and here, there we go. Even if we make our way to the very top of this place, we still have nowhere near enough distance, even with like a great cappy roll jump. At least, you know, an okay cappy roll jump. I don't know how great it was. Might have sucked. <laughs> um, but maybe, maybe? Hang on. How high is that? Well, I don't think we can make that. That looks way too high. Yeah, that, that's way too high. I think maybe we can get on top of that and then go from there, but I don't think we can get on top of that. Hang on, let's have a look around here. Uh, you can actually get a bit higher in New York City Hall by going inside. Uh, so maybe we could we could achieve something from up there. Let's have a look. Huh, I didn't know you said that when you came here after you pre-visited. They never actually do rebuild the area, it always looks like this. That's a bit sad. I'm sure I've got those ones down there already. Ow. Ba -da -ba 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. There's no music here, which is an interesting choice. Like, there was night music playing here before, so it makes sense the night music is gone, but I would have put something here. Instead of, you know, nothing. There's another life up part just here, so if you wanted a life up part, you could come up here. It's easier to get the ones on the ground floor anyway, so... I don't know, I guess that's just there in case you've just got to the boss battle and you want some help to fight the boss. Which we already did, of course. So that gets us a bit more height. We might be able to get to the top of that pillar. Uh, I don't know if that will get us enough to reach the other spot, though. It might get us over there as well, actually. Uh, there's no checkpoint up here, so to get it back up here, we'll have to actually do all of that stuff we just did again. Uh, since we can't use the power line. I might use the power line as a shortcut, since I've shown it can be done without it. <laughs> just to save a little time uh, in the video. Yes, yeah, so we can get over here, no problem. Yeah! So maybe, maybe we can go from here to over there. Uh, we can't really do a cappy roll jump on this ledge because it's so tiny. Uh, which might be an issue. As you can see, throwing cappy, she goes very far. Uh, and she hits that thing, then she just, you know, hits it. And that's what you've got, what you get. Ah! That didn't work. Okay, I am going to use this power line just to get back up there faster. Uh, but I've already shown you can get, hit, get here without the power line, so that's okay. <laughs> uh. Oops. 
This power line actually goes all the way to the top, but we have to jump out at this spot because we can't actually reach the very top without using it. So that wouldn't be allowed. Okay, I think we can get over to that pool over there. Sure can. Maybe we can get this moon as well. Yeah! But I don't think we can reach the park without using that power line. Uh, I know if you do a, a very precise jump, uh, roll, cancel, trick thing from the very, very top of New York City Hall, you can do it that way. But uh, there's no way to reach the very, very top now because of what we've already done. So... Basically, um, what we did before was wall kick up here. Which did work before, but it won't work now, because when we get up there, you'll see uh, there was some scaffolding here. There is now no scaffolding here, so we can't use that to climb our way to the very top, since it's gone now. Uh, the only way to get up there, as far as I know, is to use the power lines. Uh, specifically, this one here that we, we shortcutted with a little bit. Uh, which obviously isn't an option, because there's no other way of doing it, and we don't want to use the power lines, so... Yeah, uh, I think we're pretty much stuck there, uh, unless this is enough height, but I don't think it is. Because our distance is so much farther, and it's not that much higher than that spot. But, you know, let's give it a try. Yeah, you can see that's nowhere near. Like, even if I did the cap bounce, that would not get us anywhere near there. <sighs> so yeah, I don't think we can do all the story moons here without using any power lines, which is a bit sad. Um, we can make some decent progress, though, without using a power line, so that's pretty cool. Oh, come on. Mario! There you go. You can use that umbrella for a bit of a shortcut there. If you want. It's pretty handy. Um... I don't understand why they think rooftop parking lots are perfect for motor scooters. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Okay, uh, this, is, this is basically the same arrangement we have at the very entrance where we do the impossible jump. So you can do a similar thing here to do a cappy roll jump over there. Uh, looks like it's not quite the same distance actually, which is interesting. Because it looks like the same asset to me. <laughs> um, But if you do it like this, you should be okay. Oops. I didn't expect that. Interesting. Okay, um... Didn't quite work. That's okay. I believe you can get up here with the wall, with wall kicks. Uh, the camera doesn't quite like this sort of small space, because this game doesn't really have really narrow spaces like this. I had a little bit of trouble. Okay, that gets up to here and we get some more purple coins, so that's something. Um, yeah, I really think it's not possible to reach that park without using any power lines. Um, you know, this is relevant for like a minimum captures run, obviously, if you wanted to get all the moons in minimum number of captures or whatever you would have to get over that park at least once. And that would require you to capture the power line, as far as I can tell. Um, is the top of that pillar closer? Maybe. Yeah, let's find out. That power line there is completely, like, unnecessary. You can just do this. So, <laughs> I don't know why they have that one there. I guess just to help out if you don't, you know, have enough skill with your platforming in this game yet. That sort of thing. Which is nice. Uh, I don't think this is... It might be a bit closer, but I can't really tell. Okay, yeah, that's not gonna work. Okay, so the only, like, possible recourse I can think of is if you manage to get the letters to show up early, the Mario letters, and you captured one and took it over there, you could maybe... You could maybe, you know, get yourself stuck inside a taxi and therefore get pushed out really far and launch over there, but 
I don't see any possible way that would happen uh, at this point in the game because the letters don't show up until later on. I believe you have to have done the story for them to show up. Yeah, plenty of purple coins though. Uh, anyway, that's probably it for this video. I've done the main experiment I wanted to do, which was that first sub-area uh, without actually using the T-Rex. And we did a little bit more stuff. We took a look at the rest of the story, basically, and the fact that we pretty much can't do it without using any more power lines. Um, uh, yeah, that's the sitch. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, I kind of got those two things backwards, I usually say it the other way around, but that's okay. Um, I, I hope you appreciate this quick visit back to the land of the Metro land kingdom place. Um, and... Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba, yeah! <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to do. I only really planned to do that first thing with the T-Rex, but, you know, I thought it was fun to do a bit more stuff. And I think we, I think I had a good time. Hopefully you enjoyed this little bit of extra wandering around and seeing what I could do. Uh, uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Um, comment if you have ideas for experiments to do and stuff like that, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> You know, just, just whatever you want to do is fine. If you want to comment, leave a comment. If you just want to like, leave a like. If you don't want to like or comment, that's completely valid. I don't really mind if you don't feel the need to do it, either of those things. Uh, okay. Not quiet. That's not quite enough height. Maybe with triple jump? Ooh, almost. I think that's probably about the same height as the um, the frog skip thing at the beginning of the game. And I don't want to spend another hour working on that. <laughs> Especially when that particular one is so easy to get around just by going to a different part of the building. Uh, unlike the one with frog skip, which is mandatory if you want to skip the frog. I keep going even though I said the video was over. This is my curse. Ah, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you think Cappy's as cute as I think she is. Look at that cute, cute, cute hat lady. I love her. Um, and thanks for watching. And yeah, leave a comment if you have a suggestion on what to do next or if you think something I've tried to do that I've said is impossible is possible and suggest how if, if so, all that sort of stuff. And yeah. Right, yes I did, I made it all over here, nice. Oh yeah, the music here is amazing. I believe it actually builds up and adds more instruments as you find band members, which is pretty cool. Uh, does mean we'll never hear the full version of this front because we can't reach the park, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> anyway, yeah, um... I'm gonna stop the recording now, like I said several minutes ago. Heck, she sure did. Uh, so, bye!